moving is just so much. Like it is just so, so much. And last It has been insane. I feel like I start every single vlog like that and I it will slow down for us. Um, but I think I, I briefly talked about this in one of my last vlogs, uh, but we are moving. We have bought actually an older home. It's quite a bit older and quite a bit smaller. <laughs> uh, we wanted to downsize this home because we are just finding that we're not utilizing, I think like three of the rooms in this house and it just, it's a beautiful house. We loved it. We've been here for five years now. Um, and if any of you guys have followed me that long, then you've probably seen like the moving vlogs and all of that. Absolutely love this house, but it just does not function the best for our life right now with the kids that are like our kids that are a little bit older. And you know, it was nice when um, they were napping and there was like floors to separate us and stuff, but that's just not how it is right now. We just are finding it's just too much. It's just too big for the functionality of our life. So we wanted to downsize um, and we wanted an older home. This, when we bought this house, it was brand new. Um, loved it, again, it's been just quite a wonderful experience living in a brand new home. Um, but we miss like the cozy feel of like an older style home. So uh, we are so excited to be moving very, very, very soon. We're and we move in a couple of weeks. So, and because I've moved this space a couple of times now, like I've got a pretty good routine for moving all the items in here. Oh my god, I can't even handle my life. There was a point to me telling you guys all this. Hashtag ADHD. That's another thing. I was diagnosed with ADHD. And the diagnosis, getting the diagnosis has been, what would I say? It's been an experience because I've, I've learned a lot more about myself and like why I do the things I do. And um, I'm really glad that I was able to get that diagnosis, but that's a completely different topic. Anyway, the new nail studio is a lot smaller so um and i've got some ideas of how i want to decorate it and such i want to do a completely different vibe in the new studio and it's something that i've wanted to do in a studio space for a really long time and with the house being older i'm hoping that i'll be able to set it up the way my vision is i don't know we'll see so today number one was to update you guys on what's going on in that um i have a press on order for my client carissa she ordered like a steampunk set i found some really fun like vintage steampunk and in pink inspiration on pinterest uh so that's kind of what we did with that and then um you guys saw the unicorn too so that one was a freebie for just being such an amazing customer so i want to get this all packaged up i don't have my packaging down for press-ons yet like if you guys could be in my brain like it is just pure chaos <laughs> but i yeah i have some ideas of what i want to do with the packaging but for now i just have like something that's just going to hold me over until i figure out exactly what i want to do uh thankfully my customers have been completely understanding about that i feel like like branding and packaging is is important like i, I really do feel like that like it kind of like represents you and like your brand and your business and i feel like it's important but I want to go like a, a different route with what I do with it. And I just need to kind of figure out what that is. So, oh my gosh, I need to get some gloves on my hands here or else I'm going to pick and pick and pick and pick. <sighs> That's what I do when I'm super stressed. But I'm actually going to put some cuticle oil in my gloves. Let's see what I have here today. I think I'm going to use the Nail Queen Studio one. I don't have much of the Nail Queen Studio left. I think I'm going to use a Berry Melon Tart. So I just pop some oil right in the gloves and then it helps to moisturize my hands as I'm working oh I think I put the small on this hand totally did I put a medium on this hand and a small on this hand usually because that's this hand is so much smaller but I think I did it backwards and I think that's actually gonna be really good it'll be like a little little treat for my hands while I work today um, okay, on the agenda, we have some new products from Coco and Claire. We have some new products from Fusion. We have some new products from Clear Deli Stamper. Um, so I want to film like a new products video. But first I need to clean off this desk because it is, again, pure chaos. And then I've got a TikTok that I want to edit and get up. It's, I think it's actually all edited. I just have to do the voiceover. Ideally, I would like to spend half my day at this desk and half my day at my computer desk. But I find when I sit down at one desk, usually that's kind of where I stay for the day. So... <laughs> We'll see, which is why I chose to sit at this desk because I do have a lot of stuff I want to at least film. 
you know, moving is just so much. Like it is just so, so much. And the last time that we moved, we had like one less kid, like, and Rose was about 18 months old. And we moved from like a smaller house to a bigger house. So we had like a lot less stuff. And now we're moving from a bigger house to a smaller house and we have to like completely downsize everything. It's just a completely different experience this time. And it's taking a lot of organization and coordination. And I'm just so thankful that my husband has been able to take care of a lot of that stuff. And I've been able to take care of a lot of the coordinating of the actual items that we have to move. But yeah, oh, it's a lot. Okay, let's clean up this desk first so that we can actually have a good day. Little tiny cart here that I keep for like returns. So I'm just gonna fill this up with stuff that needs to go keep it away. Okay, you guys, I have to show you this gel polish. It's called Just For You, number 445. Um, when I got it in, I think it was in like the midst of my busyness with Flora and um, the press on shop and stuff. And so I never featured it. I never really used it. I never anything with it, but it is so fun. It has like a gray background and then it's got like black, white and gray flecks in it. Yeah, it's got little flecks of silver glitter in it too. I was gonna use it in a nail design I was doing yesterday or like a tutorial I was doing yesterday and I ended up changing my mind. And it is like the coolest gel polish color. Like if you were doing like a neutral set and this was like your accent nails or something. I just love that Coco and Claire comes out with these cool effects of gel polishes. And then I found these really cool little blocks of paper pads at Dollarama, I think. Um, and so I thought I could do some cool stuff with like taking pictures of nails and stuff with them. So I want these handy because I've been using them quite a bit. Three carts that I use regularly, okay? Stamping cart, like my everyday cart, like I've got new releases down here and then my returns go up top um, and then I'm just not utilizing down here. So I think we can do something with that. As you can see, the bottoms of the carts are just not very well used. I wanna shuffle things because I need my packaging materials for what I send out press on nails kind of close to me, so I'm kind of thinking of putting them in this card over here. Um, this card I think I wanna make as new releases, returns, and like content creating, if I can fit it down there. Uh, this card is really small though, like this is like the small, small card that you can get at Michael's. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna spend some time adjusting things and then I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour after. You guys, look at this. Like I went to go lift this container up and it is like completely falling apart. Like what? Let's take a look at this. What is going on with this? Oh my gosh, like how the heck did that even happen? It just like completely fell apart. I, I mean, there looks like something spilled there, so it must have been some sort of chemical. <laughs> it's completely destroyed. Oh, great. These containers are, I cannot remember the, the brand. I want to say it's like Tidy something, Simply Tidy at Michael's, um, but they're designed to go in the carts. So they fit in the Hudson cart, they fit in the normal, this is the Hudson cart in case you guys are wondering, like the really long one for Michael's. Uh, and they fit in the normal size one from Michael's as well, but they're great and I have a bunch of them and I know I have more packed in the garage too. So uh, for now, we just will not have a container there. I was just thinking I wish I had another one of those so I could put it down here. They don't fit lengthwise in the small cart, they fit this way, but I, there's no way I'm going to the garage to get it because whatever, we're moving in a couple weeks. I'm just trying to organize this to actually be functional for now. So I know what I'm gonna put down there though. My deco one, because this, does not need to be up top. There we go. I find it funny that I'm gonna show you guys these things and then they're gonna probably completely change when we move anyway. But for now, this is the um, cart because when I move, I we'll have more like Alex units that I can utilize for some of this stuff. Not all of my nail art is in this room right now. I've got Alex drawer units that are in our garage um, waiting to move to the new house. So some of this stuff that I have been either getting in or utilizing 
will be reorganized into that as well. Cart all organized, which feels so good because I, I just cannot stand a messy cart. I have a, another Hudson cart like this upstairs and I use it as like my mom cart. So it has like the kids' hair accessories in it, um, hair products that I use on them, uh, like my daughter's medication. It's just got everything that I need in it throughout a day. And uh, I absolutely love it, but right now it is like completely messy just like this thing is um and it's driving me insane so i needed to get that done on top this is like my most reach for products like i i need to keep these all really handy uh so my top coats are over here these are just like shiny top coats matte top coats and then my preps down there for uh working with the press-ons and then these brushes items are not necessarily always my most reached for ones like i could probably organize these back into their drawer a little bit these ones however are like this brush my blinger tool my favorite watercolor brush at the moment um, these are the lula beauty brushes that i got in my recent haul i've been using them for all sorts of different things um, recent top coat swatches scissors which i can never find so i need to have them like like somewhere that I can easily put back so that I know where they are. Um, this thing is not things that I use all the time, but I like to keep it handy. Um, and then these are like other top coats and such that I use mainly for content creating is what I use these for. And then second drawer down, e-file. This is my cards for press-ons when I have those. My press-on shop is insanely slow, so um, I don't have to use these too often, but yeah, small cards, sizing chart, large cards, and then those little cards that I showed you guys. I moved all my decals down here. Um, these will probably stay in here. I don't reach for these very often, but I'm hoping having them somewhere close, maybe I will reach for them a little bit more because they are really fun. Um, all my hands, my fingers, my chrome stampers, stampers that I use for chromes back here, uh, brush holders, and then other stampers. I just have my supplies for packaging press-ons and then all of my swatch sticks over here. And then I moved all my content creating to this cart and hopefully it'll just tuck away over here and just kind of be out of the way for now. It doesn't give me too much space behind me, but. And then I didn't do anything with the stamping cart besides move my boxes over there just so that they're handy. And then I also had to tidy up my desk so that I could actually start filming some content now. two days but I have not packed up a single thing in the nail studio yet for my family's move I am gonna do some of that today oh my god I'm so hot this is like one of my last days of working in this studio space and I know many of you have been here since like the beginning of setting up this studio space so we're going like full circle here we're moving in again um my next studio space is quite a bit smaller it's more of like we bought a 70s build home. This was a new build when we moved in. Um, and so we bought a 70, 70s build home. Uh, so there's a lot of like modern features that are not in this new home, which is a-okay with me. When we began this process, we wanted, we wanted something that was like older and just less, if that makes sense. I'm looking forward to having like a more cozy nail studio. I think that that'll be really nice. My priority is obviously setting up like my kids' spaces and making our house functional for us, our everyday lives. So I'm not too sure how quick I'll be able to set the nail studio up so it, like I have some design ideas that I wanna do with it. And I'm not too sure how quick I'll be able to get that done, but eventually it'll look a little, a little more like Toledo-fied. Because when you guys first see the studio space, it's just a bedroom, it's just a bedroom. It's actually the master bedroom of the house. <laughs> Again, it's a 70s build, so it's not like there's, well, some 70s builds had en suites and stuff, but this one didn't, which is why it works good for my nail studio. Just packing up some press on orders, and then I'm going to change my battery because I see that it's flashing at me. And then we're gonna do the studio tour and then pack this space up. I don't have too much time today. I guess about an hour and 15 minutes. That's not too bad. So I should be able to get some, some good things on. Some good things done. I'm in like a current ADHD hyper focus mode, so I should be able to get some decent things done today. <laughs>
I left all my polishes just in the racks because it's easy to set up that way. They're just gonna go back on a calyx unit whenever that get here gets here. This is Tide powder. I spilled it yesterday in the car. That's how it goes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lift this because it is all full of scrapbook paper. Oh, I'm so done with this day. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know, 11.30 and I'm done. But um, we've been moving since, this is my second trip at the house. So as you guys can see, just a little bit of vibes that you guys are getting. It is a completely different style house than what we're in now. Um, we're going from a new build to like a 70s home, 78. And my nail studio is right on the main floor where my kids are. So just moving, just moving as much as I can in right now. Hopefully the movers will be here soon to move a bunch of other boxes. Okay, this is the new nail studio. Like I said, it's actually the master bedroom of the house. It's a good size. I mean, compared to what I'm in now, it's quite a bit smaller, but we will make it work. I've got some things here. I plan to do some painting, wallpaper, all that fun stuff. I actually think I, I'm, I not think, 100% changing this light too. And it's just like an older style home, which I'm so excited.